Good morning, everyone. If you are new, welcome back to the channel. My if you are new, welcome back to the channel. It's early in the morning, If people. you're new, welcome to the channel. It's 7.06, people. <laughs> it's early. I didn't go, like, obviously morning. we're at Mouse. I'm not at the gym. My brain His is brain's not His brain's not fully functioned yet. But good morning. What is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Brianna. And I am Corey. And that's how it normally goes. But today... She gave me the privilege of starting. I did. I was like, oh, do you want to, like, <laughs> intro the vlog today? And he was like, yeah, I would love to. And then... It's okay, I thought it was great. But we are headed to Animal Kingdom today. Oh, yeah. So excited. We already have two lightning lanes. We've paid for flight of passage. We'll do, be doing that between 11.40 and 12.40. <laughs> and then I ended up getting a Navi River for 9.45 to 10.45. Mm -hmm. That ride, nor ride line is normally really long. Normally we like long. to rope drop safari in the morning. So we're gonna see if we can get on to that. And then my dad won't ride Everest. So we're gonna ride that together. But that's always like a walk on. For oh God, yesterday reason. at like 9.30 it had a five minute wait. And then at like 3 30, it was a five minute wait. Yeah, so, so I just never don't know. Never a bad time for that yeah, ride. Yeah, and I just, we'll see. But we're gonna have a wonderful day in Animal Kingdom. And then today's our first day of park hoppers ever. So we're park hopping to Hollywood Studios later on tonight once we're done. It is supposed to be a super hot day. It's supposed to be upwards of like almost 90 today. So we wanna get out early, come back, do a nice swim, and then head out to Hollywood Studios. So give the video a big thumbs up, push that subscribe button, and. Let's spend the day at Walt Disney World. Oh yeah. And that's it. We just finished up Kilimanjaro Safari first thing this morning. And it's there such a relaxing better. way to start the day. There's nothing better than a Kilimanjaro Safari in the morning. Yeah, I feel like the milk. sun is rising. Yeah. A lot of the animals are awake. We heard an animal. Like we heard the lion roar. We heard the roar. lion roar. The female. The female lion was, that was pretty screaming cool. at something. Yeah, even the, even the driver in the safari was like, that was like, we don't get to see that all the time. So you should be really happy. So, But even the nice. male lion was out and he was just full frontal, oh, like God. mane, it was like, like so hmm, beautiful. propped up. Oh, yeah, yeah, so we enjoyed safari. I feel like that's, a, I guess I would say a tip that I have is I would always rope drop the safari because it's normally, technically, it doesn't open until right at eight. It's so right even at eight, during yeah. early entry, I think they let the animals kind of wake up and stuff. Right. But I would recommend like rope dropping safari. That way you can get a lightning lane for it way later in the afternoon. If it's super hot, you can re-ride it again. So now we are headed to ride Expedition Everest. Oh yeah. My dad is not riding that. That is just a me and Corey ride, but I'm excited for Everest. I also have my nice bottle of water that I'm drinking half now and then I know I'll need the other half Ugh. post Everest. I'm drinking full now because I am a bottomless pit with yeah. everything I can So see. to Expedition Everest so I don't, you know, I'm gonna die with the water. Oh yeah. Whatever. A lot of changes going on here. Lots We're currently of in Pandora. From pre Everest. Pre Everest. Yeah. We rode Everest 10 out of 10. Anybody Always else? Spot. Anybody else 10 out of 10? It makes you feel like low key sick after it, but you love yeah. the feeling of it. It's weird. I'm always ill. And however, we actually rode it in the last row of the ride. It was great. And I actually didn't think I was like as sick in quotes or as like woozy as I uh, felt like I was going to be because Loved I it. don't feel like it was as crazy. So Loved we rode it. Everest 10 out of 10. Then we took my dad on Dinosaur. Dinosaur, Dinosaur. was a walk-on. Dinosaur was a walk-on. And walk so was Everest. Everything's been a walk-on today. It's 10 o'clock. We've been here since 8, no, 7.30. 7.30. So two and a half hours and we've like basically walked on to everything. We've walked yeah. a little bit. We shopped, which I'm gonna show a haul in a second, but it was like a nice walk on morning. Dinosaur great. my dad liked a lot. He liked it a lot, yeah. but he loved the safari a lot. He loved lot safari. Yeah. Safari was beautiful, so nice. But we are in Pandora now, but I wanna do a quick little haul of what I got because the one thing I love about Animal Kingdom is their Island of Mercantile store always has whatever collection is at like Magic Kingdom or all the collections that everyone's looking for that have been coming out over the 50th, the 25th anniversary, like the vans, all that stuff is always here. But because this is not like the most popular park, there's normally not a lot of turnover. So there's normally stuff. So we ended up finding this, which is not like 50th anniversary, but this isn't, I don't think super new. So we ended up getting the Walt Disney World 50th magnet with all the parks. I like it. I also like that it's like pretty heavy duty. I think it was like 15 or It honestly is pretty, it's pretty heavy, yeah. yeah. super heavy duty and then, I wanted this so bad and I finally found it. It was the Mickey 25th anniversary t-shirt, which I really like because I feel like this is a forever t-shirt. You know when you sometimes buy like a Disney grungy t-shirt and you won't sometimes wear it in the parks or maybe you will or whatever. I feel like oversized with bike shorts, my new hat from yesterday, this t-shirt was a vibe. So now we have a lightning lane for, I think, Navi River. So let's go ride Navi River.
the name of it. I got my Night Blossom. Corey got the Rum Blossom. These are a 10 out of 10. Oh, spectacular. 100%. Yep. What did you get? You got I something got the new. I got the Mango though. Peach uh, Grogger. What would you think? Grogger. 1 out of 10. It's very good. Oh, it's a 10. It's That's a, a 10? 10? Yeah, it's a little fruity in the beginning, right? Corey? I had a yeah. little sip. It's actually very refreshing. It's just yeah. so funny that it is, like, I don't know if you can tell, but it is, like, green as green could be. Like, super green. But we all know that Corey and I always dig up a rum blossom and a night blossom, and it's 10.30. We're going to go into Satuli Canteen and grab, like, snack lunch. It's 10.30 or 10.15, but we've been awake since 5.30, so my five-hour stomach needs lunch, but we're also going to get Flame Tree Barbecue for lunch. Oh, yeah. 5.30, it's because of her. It's early, yeah. Oh yeah, we were getting here early. And he's laughing, but we also got to rope drop uh, Safari, which That's made him right. super happy. That's so we're right. gonna go to Satuli Canteen, we'll show you what we're getting. And uh, Night Blossom is life. I can see Corey's face. Before you even go, how excited are you? 35 out of 10. Yeah, because this is what Corey looks forward to when we come here, and I just know he's excited. Anyway, go ahead, honey. So we have the uh, shrimp noodle bowl here that we have at Satuli Canteen, oh, which so always good. hits the spot. Shrimp, perfect char. Noodles yep. are noodly, and they always have these gooey ball things that the boba balls. I don't feel so necessary on this, but just adds an element that is completely wonderful. Yeah. And then we, we always get the creamy herb like dressing, whatever. The, I think it's so much better. And then for Brianna's dad to try, we got the cheeseburger bao bao. Yeah. Now listen, I like it. I don't love it, it's a little doughy for me, but I want him to try it, so let's have him try it and get his rating. What do you think? Is it good? Oh my god. It's I, like a big I told you, yeah, right? I told you. It's good, isn't it? Wow, do we have some updating. I don't even know where the hell we were. <laughs> we literally last left off and we were at Satuli Canteen. That was so far. So, so far ago. So, to give a quick synopsis, we did Satuli Canteen and then we we went for a walk to Africa yes. because Brianna wanted corn. Then you got a, I had a stomach of issue. Stomach. Mm -hmm. So then we didn't get the corn. We walked back. She sat out. Brianna's dad and I did um, flight, of passage, flight of passage, which I was so disappointed because I wanted to do it, but I didn't do it because I was nervous that I was gonna like get sick. And then after flight of passage, we came back, swam at the pool, and now we're showered and ready to go. And now we're showered and ready to go. I did want to give just a quick like kudos to Disney because I said like, hey, I booked a lightning lane individually for me, my fiance, and my dad to ride Flight of Passage. I am i wasn't feeling good. I ended up actually skipping out and not riding the ride. Like, is it okay if I get refunded? Like, I had a really bad stomach issue. Like, I felt like I was gonna literally poop my pants. And- Who did you reach out to for this conversation? I went up to just the guest experience nice, team. Nice. And they were like, absolutely, like, just fill out this form. Like, we're so sorry. Like, was it medical? What would you say? And I was like, yes, definitely medical. And they were just really kind about it. So, that's just a little bit of a quick check-in. I feel like today's been Beautiful, but we did end up spending what like three to four hours at the pool. So like that, yeah. You look tired. I the and you look kind of burnt. The sun, I'm not burnt. In the in this, you look kind of burnt. It's because there's red brick here. It's and probably because he's got a little bit of a burn. But we are now headed out to Hollywood Studios for the rest of the night. We have four lightning lanes that are ready, stacked to go because Animal Kingdom there wasn't like too much to stack and do, so we ended up just not doing that. But. We're headed off to Hollywood Studios. It's gonna be a blast. I'm excited because I think we're gonna have a little bit of a like not a low key night, but we're not gonna be like we do not have to get everything done in the day yeah. because we've got lightning lanes and we're gonna eat dinner in Hollywood Studios. We don't know what yet. Again, we're doing a lot of quick service during the park days, so we shall see. But I'm most excited to ride Rise. Yes, very excited. I just love Rise. I Rise of the so Resistance good. is like my favorite. So good. So this was not like our typical morning vlog. I feel like we're normally more vloggy, but we're taking the strip a little bit slower with my dad, which is totally fine. So I'll just queue up up here on either side of Corey or myself. Yep. All of our Disney vlogs that we've done, we have a huge September 2022 Disney vlogs. Like probably my favorite ones that we've ever yeah. done. They were like so fun. So if you want a little bit like more longer vlogs from us, if this is the first video, hit those. I wish you said subscribe. But that's not like what I literally was saying. You can like those yeah. too if you want. We're funny and just a bunch of boobs. So we are now headed out to Hollywood Studios. So we are in Backlot Express. We got to Hollywood Studios and we just rode Minnie and Mickey's because we had a lightning lane. One of my all time favorite rides in the park. Corey is already hammering down a chicken tender because we had like a weird time frame for day eating. So let me show you what we got at Backlot. So like I said before, I'd had a little bit of an upset stomach. So I decided to just go for the kids macaroni and cheese meal. So mac and cheese, french fries, it came with a cookie. I got a Diet Coke and then ketchup, honey mustard because I am gonna mooch off of some of Corey's chicken tenders and fries and then my dad ended up getting one of the did you get a bacon cheeseburger dad yeah yeah so we're all just kind of eating and then we have a lot of lightning lanes stacked up for the afternoon 
Or not afternoon, but nighttime. Keep an eye on your little toys. Bienvenidos. This is my favorite Spanish translation. This is Corey's episode, I'm so sorry, it's so loud. I love it. Dentro del vehículo. We reveal in our super vehicle. He's such a funny Spanish kid. He's such a funny Spanish kid. So if you can't tell by where we are, we are riding Slinky. My dad is definitely not riding Slinky. So it's just me and Corey, a little quality, quality tone. So we're gonna ride Slinky, and then we have Smuggler's Run, and then Rise, and then we're probably gonna do Toy Story Mania, and it's gonna be so fun. So let's ride Slinky. And we're back. <laughs> it's been a minute. So we did, we're at Slinky Dog Dash since we last saw. Wait, 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 wait. Why are you blocking my face? I didn't mean to say that, but wait. I told Corey, intro, like bring us back. We have it. We've been. We had have some updates. We have some things to share. You wanna? Maybe one more time? We rode Slinky Dog. We did, that was great. 10 out of 10 recommended After Slinky, friend. then we did Smuggler's Run, Millennium Falcon. Which was like a walk-on, even though we had a lightning lane for it. We there was literally no literally one in line. Literally no one in line. Then we were supposed to do Rise of the Resistance, but it was yeah. shut down, broken down. Which um, they ended up giving me like a guest experience from now until the end of the day, but it's literally 8.30, the park closes in an hour. I highly doubt it's gonna reopen, so what they said is, is if the ride doesn't reopen or you can't ride it, then they yeah. just refund your card. So we're probably just gonna have it refunded because we have an early day tomorrow and it's already 8.30 and I feel like my legs are on fire. Yeah. So that was that. And then... And then I did single rider for Tower of Terror because Brianna and her dad don't particularly care for that ride. No. But I love it, so no, I do it no by interest. myself. No interest. Um, but I like looking fact, at it. I don't know if anyone else knows this. When it, no, when it goes about understanding if Tower of Terror is a walk-on, you know how the standard rides throughout Disney, a walk-on, they just post five minutes just to post something. Yeah. But you know it's a walk-on at that time. For Tower of Terror, they post 13. Which I think is so fun. Which I think is very Like the 13th outbreak. floor of the hotels is like supposed to be spooky or like the number 13 is unlucky. So I think that that's really funny. So I saw 13, I was like, oh, oh it's a walk-on. So, so you didn't I even have to, have to technically single rider. Nope, I didn't, didn't have to worry about so anything. So it's 8.30, we're probably gonna end up getting back on the bus and getting back to the hotel. We have an early day tomorrow. We've had just a busy day, Animal Kingdom in the sun all morning, like really I think wiped us out. We spent about three hours at the pool. That was awesome and super lovely, but the sun kicks your ass. Like it's, yeah, you know what it I mean? Does. It kicks you, but I wanted to show, I'll turn the camera around and show it, but I'm sitting at this table, my dad's at the other one, because we were right behind the pin trading like stand yeah. on Sunset Boulevard. And so we've never sat here, we've always sat on the bench, but we are literally perfect view of the beautiful Tower of Terror lit up in its 50th like, Lights, which I don't know. Do you know if it's gonna stay lit like light. this? But like, will I'm it stay sure lit like this after? I'm sure there will be a projection after, of some But will capacity? it be those colors? I, uh, do you have any idea? Nope. I don't think so either. So let me show you Tower of Terror. So we're sitting here in Tower of Terror. I'll even zoom you in with the camera because isn't she just a sight for sore eyes? She's, She's the prettiest so girl at the, at the Hollywood Studio School. Yeah, I was gonna say because <laughs> I do believe that Ep Epcot Ball Epcot's is the prettiest, the prettiest girl, girl in school, school, but I mean. Tower of Terror. I mean, like, it's like a 1A, 1B situation. I just have to pause <laughs> to make fun of Brianna for a second, because she literally was just about to combust. I don't know what happened. What came out of your mouth? I had to sneeze, and then I went to sneeze, but then a cough came out at the same time, and then I couldn't sneeze, and then I went to sneeze again, and then, like, nothing came out. And it was just a lot of weird noises all me. <laughs> Mixed together. It was kind of scary. I kind of was scared of myself. I literally, I mean this in a nice way possible, this has nothing to do with any health things of you. I literally thought you were about to poop your pants. Yeah, no. I'm good. We're good. We're just chilling. We're hanging. My dad's taking some photos on <laughs> Sunset Boulevard and then we're gonna head back to the room. We could do three favorites here. Oh, we could do three favorites here. I could do three favorites here. Let's do three favorites here. That's good. Okay. Okay, you first. Three favorites. Okay, I'm gonna start. Favorite my, number one. My first favorite was riding safari in the morning at sunrise. Mm, it's my nice. favorite time to ride safari. It's beautiful. It's just like so, so amazing. So I would say that was a favorite. My second favorite of the day was the amount of pool time that we had. It was like it was amount. so hot today, but it was so beautiful. To my just, God, like, I just burped and hiccuped at the same time. What is wrong what with is us? Happening? What we need we to go to bed. Today? We need to go to bed. Oh. So I would say that was my second favorite. And then I would say my third favorite was honestly, we've never park hopped before. No. And I really think I've been converted to a park hopper. We'll talk about this in our podcast episode. So yeah. make sure if you're not subscribed or following the podcast, it's Magic at Home podcast. It should be linked down below. We have a Disney and travel podcast. 
So I would say, yeah, just I think park hopping, it was so amazing to come into Hollywood Studios at night and get to, like, Animal Kingdom seems hours away, but it was so beautiful to see two parks in one day. So that's, yes. those are definitely my three favorites. What are your three favorites? Uh, for me is Numero Uno. I know this is, you didn't get to experience it, but getting to experience Flight of Passage with your dad yeah, and get I, his initial reaction, that so that was, was awesome. great. Number two is, I'd just say probably pool time as well. It was so nice. Because it was nice. You could tell by this side of my face. Here. It's a little, little red. It was a little, little too nice for Corey there because he didn't put on any sunscreen. And then numero three was right in Tower of Terror. Come on, yeah, amazing. I know you love Tower of Terror. I love it so much. I was texting Lewis in the in the queue, and he was just like, he was like, the other two didn't want to do it with you. I was like, nope, no, they're losers. I'm good. So with that, we're gonna end the vlog here. It's been a great day, fun day, festive days. My dad wants to get ice cream, Ooh, so we're gonna get Mickey bar. some yeah. ice cream for the road and head back to the hotel. But Make sure that if you have not already to hit that subscribe button down below. Throw that like button, a little click there. Big thumbs up and comment your favorite part of the Disney vlog. We had so much fun today. A busy day. Tomorrow we're doing Epcot and Magic Kingdom. So it's gonna be a busy, big, fun day. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone. Toodles.